you too, Lay. My name is Wild Boy Five Six Nine Nine, and welcome back to Doki Doki Blue Sky. We're picking up in the last episode. Last episode, we celebrated Christmas, and we kissed to yours. So thumbs up for that. Uh, now we're going into Act Three, the beginning of the year. So I'm looking forward to this. I don't know what to expect. I didn't see any videos recently. Uh, the only further down, furthest I got into the game was trying to find an ending, an ending for to see what how to get the good endings. But anyway, we're picking up where we left off in the episode. We're now in January. At we're at Act Three, and it's January. Uh, most people typically see January as a pretty dreary month. January blues, I think it's called. But the cold weather and the gray skies, the end of the Christmas holidays. Yeah, I can see it. Fuck January. The long January is literally the longest fucking month of the year because it literally feels like it lasts a fucking century. And then once February hits, the fucking year goes extremely fast. Not this January, though. I haven't been able to get to yours. Kiss out of my mind. It's hard to believe she's actually my girlfriend now. Atta boy. And just four months ago, we haven't spoke in, year, spoken in years. Joining this club is Kevin and Sears, hurling for me. And we're finding out about her depression. The whole thing has just been so unexpected. Still, there's a few days left before left the Christmas break, and I know exactly how I want to spend them. After shooting Sears, a task. Task. After shooting Sears, a text, I make my way over. What magical adventures are we going to go on today, Colton? I'm glad you asked, Sears. Today, we're going to a magical snowy wonderland. Expect to be a wild journey filled with uh, snow, snowballs, and uh, festive lights. She looks for me a moment before bursting out laughing. Oh, you're so silly sometimes. Hey, it's not like you come up with a good imagined imagery on the spot. Try me. <laughs> I like that wink, though. Try me. Okay, then. Let, I will, let's see how you can come up with this literally, Miss Expert. She thinks for a moment. Uh, we're going to a bold, daring venture to place broom with magical lights, print stand, and snowy ice glaciers. Da da. You know what? I know where, when I'm beat. Sarah grunts with pride, purple, and her chest proudly. Although I bet you don't even know what half of those words mean. Did Yuri lend you a fairy sugar? I expect my dad to pop, pop from her, but she stands firm. Don't be jealous, Dad. You'll never stack up the, uh, to the Ice Queen. Psh, ice Queen bold words for someone who tends to get cold super easily. Especially when it says excellent lever gloves at home. Da got her. Meanie, you can never let me win. I slid close behind and planted a kiss on her nose. You love it, really. Although the pal tells me otherwise, there's no denying that red blush creeps into her cheek. By the way, from your for your secret Santa, who did you go shopping with? Natsuki. That must be an awkward afternoon. It wasn't actually. The rare that it's rare I got to see Natsuki outside the club, so it was a really nice day to get together. Oh, Monica, Monica went by herself. Poor Monica. Girls' day out, huh? You could say that. She helped me with a lot of come uh, come to picking a present for you. Tut 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 tut. Couldn't even think of a present for me without someone outside help. You're the one who made it was hard. It was hard. To, hard it was hard at the Christmas party. Checkmate. Since when do your memory is? Since when was your memory that good? No fair. The Ice Queen never forgets. She laughs as I roll my eyes. <laughs> you really like that self-appointed tile, don't you? It doesn't make sense. You hate the cold. Doesn't bother you? Should I let it go? I can't believe you just did that. She giggles sweetly, playful as Ace in their laugh. Anyway, she was really stuck on stuck. Anyway, she was really stuck on what to get here. There was an obvious choice: a new pen, a book, or something to do with tea. She was considering getting her one of those, but she said she wanted to go for something that wasn't so obvious. She could really be thoughtful, wouldn't be? Yeah, I get the impression too. That look on your face, man. She really wasn't expecting that, Lily, at all. I had thought Natsuki would just go over a horror book and be done with it. Well, that's the thing. Natsuki says she likes other surprise surprise people. Once you get past the prick. prick He's prickly side, and she has a big heart. Not exactly hard to hard to have. Not not exactly to have a big heart when you're when you're small enough, is it? Colton, it's a joke. It's a joke. Although, please don't tell her I said that about her. Mm. Only if you buy me chocolate. Does that? That doesn't sound so bad. And maybe some cookies. Anything else? A bad massage, a Ferrari, perhaps a holiday cruise to the Caribbean as well. <laughs> well, now that you mention it, uh, you'll be so lucky. <laughs> That's funny. What are you gonna have, Shiori? Hmm. Her eyes whiz over the menu, giving the abundance of cakes, buns, and other sweet foods. I'm not expecting a reply anytime this decade. Cinnamon, bu cinnamon buns again? No, actually, I'm thinking I'm gonna try the sponge cake. Oh, so a Twinkie. It looks so soft and delicious. The genuine excitement in her face is so endearing to see. And to think, girl, this think a girl is adorable is this girl this adorable is mine. After giving the order, of the waiter I can't help but reach across the table and take her hand in mine. She looks a little surprisingly, but soon she rubs my hand with a finger, smiling shyly. You know that's something I always loved about you? How adorable you are? Huh? 
Like, even right now, you're literally getting flustered, aren't you? Me? <laughs> no! <laughs> it took me a while to realize my feelings for you. Ever since that tickle thought we had back in September. I remember seeing you look in her eyes. We were in a really well awkward position. He looked at me with something I'd never seen before. Yeah, I remember that moment. I had no idea how to react. It was the first time we spent time together outside of school in a while. I was really happy that day. Me too. I guess that was the first day my feelings for you really began to bloom. And over the months, those feelings grew stronger. You gave me a bed of... You gave me a bit of food once and your hands brushed against mine. I remember thinking about how soft your hands felt. It took took me really off guard. Oh, so that's why you were zoned out. I was wondering why I looked to Trace. I wasn't it was I wasn't the greatest greatest to cover my tracks, was I? And you smell really nice too. You smell so pretty. I remember again the latest step we were covering pumpkins. That doesn't make any sense. I had I haven't I hadn't showered that day. Oh, I don't know, maybe it's just your natural scent then. Hmm, that makes me sound like a real caveman, doesn't it? At least you're a handsome caveman. Damn right, Stuart! Damn right! Now it's my turn to go, where I find my wigs are here. It gives me grants that opens her mouth, no doubt, to eager to watch me plow their change. Thankfully, her moment opportunity went by the way to dress ready to bring in our food. Another huge smile appears on the face, and because the cake puts in front of her, it's not really hard to put a smile on her face, is it? Watching her eat to behold, it's almost like she's into a strain of the bottle's pit in her stomach. What's the matter, Cole? Compliment, compliments making you turn red, huh? You know, it's really cute seeing how nervous you were when you warmed up my hands. You were stuttering and everything, and something tells me it wasn't because of the cold. Guilty as charged. My master plan worked. I should have known it was all a oh, rust. Then again, I got whole, I got the whole hands with you, so we we're both winning. Aren't we both winners? Don't take my victory away from me, Meanie. Not taking away from you, just sharing it is. Is it so wrong? I stick my tongue at her. Mm. I give you credit, though. The mistletoe plan was pretty flawless. I absolutely had no clue it was coming. That was so much fun to play with the girls. Yuri felt bad, but Natsuki and Monica were all for it. You looked absolutely terrified when he sold the missile to Yeah, I was like, oh god, oh my god. Said, well, duh. It was nerve wracking enough that we almost kissed before the others arrived. And then I had to do it with three other people watching. The plan almost backfired, you know. Huh? Well, if it was your, it was your first kiss too, right? Oh, yeah. Although I had my advice from although I had advice from Monica beforehand. Oh, uh how? -huh. How to kiss someone? Yep. I didn't know what you, I didn't know you were meant to close your eyes. I stare at her. Even I knew that. I bet if Monica had teach you, I bet Monica teach, had to teach you a lot, did she? I'm not legally obliged to answer that. I burst down, oh, T.R., you're so funny. I love you. Marry me. Hey, sorry, sorry. I'm just trying to picture how that conversation went down. Did you ask Monica to kiss someone? Or oh, were you to put your hands in while I did it? No, I didn't. I kind of wanted to, though. I had no idea what to do, to be honest. I was scared that I'd mess it up. You know, it being your first kiss and all. And, that, and the thought of more about it, it was the worst I felt to put you in an awkward situation. It's really okay, though. I enjoyed the kiss after all. Plus, it was my first one as well, so I was hardly a pro. <laughs> I got my first kiss at 14. What the fuck y'all talking about? Y'all a bunch of 18 adult-year-olds? <laughs> really? Really, really? And you know what they say? Practice makes perfect, right? Very smooth, Colm. An hour or so later, we both want one... Wound, wound up, wound up in the living room. On my own self see Siori cuddled next step to me. Content as can be. You know, now that we're actually together, what are we meant to do? I have no clue. You're my first girlfriend after all. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. It's really nice just to cuddle up together. But when you think about what couples do together, what comes to mind? So I know a couple things. I have to pause and actually think about this. Uh, like go on dates, which I guess technically just did at the cafe. Sorry, Siri, I'm just as clueless as you are. That's alright, I guess we don't have to have all the time in the world to figure it out. To be honest, I'm perfectly happy just cuddling up together. Just being with you no matter what. We're doing makes me happy. Oh, that's how I feel with you too, actually. Does that mean I can cancel the romantic getaway to Paris then? She pokes me to the side. But France is the most romantic cap romance capital of the world. How much money do you have to do you have to got the spare, Siori? Does that include pocket money I spent years ago? Yeah, sure. Maybe negative two hundred yen then. Yen? This game takes place in somewhere, really. Well, unless the planes are operated by the time hamster, hamster, tired hamsters, I don't see we're going to France anytime soon. I really want a hamster. Why? What do you mean why? To pet? What would you want to call it? Stewart. <laughs> like is it that movie? Yep. You know what? Stewart Little was a mouse, not a hamster, right? And what's the difference? Hamsters taste nicer. <laughs> is it bad? It actually made me laugh. It means your humor's like mine, so take it as you will. That's definitely a good, not a good thing, huh? Don't make me push you off the couch. You wouldn't dare. Oh? Don't do it, man. I've had, I have a better idea. I sit up without hesitating, but it tickled air immensely. And the big man begins squirming and laughing uncomfortably. Oh, no, not this again. Ah, 
That's <laughs> not that hard to even get, give me a chance. If I remember correctly, last time it was you who ended, so you're the taste of your own medicine. She's right, she's really on the cat flu, as shimmer with tears from her violent laughter. Okay, okay, I'm sorry for what I said about your humor, please just stop. As I remember losing really Evelyn slightly just to give her a chance to catch her breath. Bad move. Sir Lynch is forward, pinning me to the, pinning me beneath it. This bat was linked with the catch me off guard with the flow. My body seems to the opposite end of the couch. That face though. Uh, she wastes no time in dishing out some cold ran to within second form of a place with hers entire. Oh damn it, I expect you to be able to do that. She brings her face closer to my making sure I can see how smug she is. With, which actually gives me an idea. Dating forward, I plan to kiss on her lips, unlike her kiss and kisses. This time I tugged your butt! Slightly <laughs> against the top lip. The effect of me near her hands go from trying to take me slowly back in my head. As the kiss deepens, she pushes me back onto the couch. Her body falls, but mine, a few seconds of laying down directly on top of me. My, my mind will go a while, trying to think what's going on, only the kiss distract her, but some kind of urge, both of us. Her body feels so warm against my with the sudden joy, I'm very well at the parts here, namely two parts that I pressed against my chest. Needless to say, the atmosphere completely changed now that I don't know how they react. The science can change with each passing seconds feeling like hours. We have the house to ourselves, her body is pressed on top of mine, there's some kind of friendly issues with the both of us. Up on my eyes. Sorry. She has to the clumps off me. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't I didn't mean to uh it's okay, it's okay. It just kinda <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, I had a lot of fun today, Colton. It's a strange school starts tomorrow though. I was hoping you wouldn't remind me. <sighs> we'll be getting the results of our December exam back. January could not could go in one one of two ways. We'll be fine, I think. Only one way to find out. Anyway, it's gonna leave. Want me to walk you home? Sure. Damn. And here we are, back in class. Man, the holidays really whizzed by in a flash. Seeing so you're in the morning makes a huge difference out of previous my school day. Am I a morning person now? Maybe she's really in is my sunshine. Just like her poem. Kind of kinda of like the song by Buck Cherry. Yeah, I listen to a lot of Buck Cherry. I met them, cool guys. I know I talked about them before. She really made my she really made me mushy head and she wonder what mom would think. <laughs> morning, Amy. Good Christmas break. So did it work? Buck yeah! Oh. Sorry, Dad. You guys together yet? Fuck yeah! Come on, going straight in. I see. Well, are you? Yeah, we are. I knew it. Are you going? Well, I think that's everyone. As the last student makes her way back to this, Jackie Security puts down the regis register and stands in front of the class. Hope everyone had a good break. There's a wee, there's a wee gloom and a murmur. Oh, come on, guys. You got it easy. Your exams were before the week. I used to see. I used to teach at a school where Jan where they had January exams and they had a reason to be unenthusiastic about returning. Anyone got any anything cool for Christmas? Yeah, Mom finally came in and got a new pair of bright sneakers. Practical for sure. Practical for sure. A good friend of mine get me a plant. I'm not sure what it's what it's strange flower, man. But hey, last full of surprises. Anyway, I was giving this support less than five minutes ago. Let's begin, shall we? No. Normally, I yeah, so when it comes to lunch, I'm giving out clothes. Cool. Recently, the outdoors is not public. Yeah, no, it doesn't. A lot of students obviously eating their home. Where's the fucking cafeteria? What kind of fucking school is this? This school smells like a fucking paradise. I don't wanna go. The club room was available to us and left. There's always free around lunchtime. Although the Christmas burgers just eat in the club room, despite Monica saying she couldn't make any promises to say that we pretty much agreed on. With my stomach gurgling and make my way over. You're eating out secure either by the time I arrived. We're not exactly the best friends or anything. Friendship was much less shaken as it was three months ago. I can tell you something not secure stuff unless really touch your Hey guys! Romeo himself has arrived! Not secure! Afternoon, Colton. Howdy, Yuri. Monica not here yet? It's not much a surprise, Eddie. You know how she'd like to find another extra extra prelico going on. The door swing over to you and walks through a cheery smile on her face. Hey! I'm so glad we decided to eat together in the lunch room. In the lunch room. Looking back, I'm kinda of surprised no one suggested that earlier. Well, it's a new year, a new start. All we need now is mon once again fuck. Once again the door swing over Monica weighs it as a project monitors. Sorry, sorry! I had so much to store, stuff stored out. My teacher was talking to me about university applications. Alrighty, but your second but your second year of high school isn't even over yet. Second year? Aren't you guys not in senior year? You're fucking 18! How long does this call go for? Good lord! Aren't they 18? Monica sighed and really rose her temples pulling out her feet. <sighs> yeah, I know, it's stressful to say the least. Plus, I'm getting the results of my December. 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 This December exams back. Don't worry, Monica, I'm sure you've done just fine. You worked so hard. I'll be entirely agreed. You're a model student, and I know how much effort you put into your studies. Monica smiles at the air, but doesn't know really convinced. Well, now the Royal Hair should tell, but we, we don't have a club meeting today. There will be much point giving out unless I have any poems this year. Oh, we can hold a session tomorrow, though, if you guys are interested. I know we didn't hold too many last semester, and that's all me. Sorry, I had a lot going on. Yeah, I'm down for meeting tomorrow. Probably a little rusty, since it'll be a good chance to get back into it. Oh, no, no poems. No more poems, please. I turn to Siori. 
We could write one together if you like. I'm still not as good as the girl who did learn to like. Oh, that could be really fun tonight. Yep. Well, if the two love were sorted out, works for me. Three nods in agreement. Well, I'll see you guys tomorrow then. She finished writing something down to plan it or not. I'll show you the pin Yuri got it for Christmas. Just about the shy smile on Yuri's face to say she also noticed. Monica suddenly stands up with the packing, the fruit, packing away your fruit containers. Wait, you're leaving so soon? Yeah, I can't really stick around either talking to my parents about the whole university thing. They've been hounding at me ever since the semester exam started. See you guys later. Bye! And just like that, she's gone. Free time is falling for her, is it? She really has so much going on. Cause I, I couldn't fans them and be in her shoes to stress really too much well. All those exams, you have to take the university. I don't advise your slightness. Ah, well, you don't have to do those exams until third year. But I think Monica has to prep, start her prep raising you. Yeah, Joyce is bringing the first year now, so you count yourself lucky because you used to be a Monica shoot before you know it. Wonder how long it takes until Sakuri starts asking you the same thing. The question lingers on mind the rest of his lunch break passes by. At the end of the school day, I arrives at one of the corridors in Siori's homeroom. Along the way, I spot Yuri leaving the classroom. Fuck. Hello again, Colton. Um, Yuri looks way nervously feeling around the strain here. You don't have to, but of course, but she seems to have struggling. What? If you know, would you like to walk home to get? Would you like to walk home to get it? Honey, you want me to? You want me to walk? You want me to walk home with me? Sorry, it's a stupid suggestion. I don't know why I asked. It's not like I didn't want to or anything. I was just expecting you to ask. Huh? Are you sure? If I'm I would see you, or I wouldn't mind if you pulling a rabbit. You were into. Why would she mind? The more the merrier. It's cool. I was just on the way to grab her for now. If I were free for the tag along. Oh good. Whew, I thought I was gonna give me a choice. <laughs> as soon as Patsy already put the Howard signal, you're gonna try them behind me. There you are. I gave her a dear peck, peck, daring peck, and the lips cause them to blow up the blush. Hey! Ready to walk home? Well, you're gonna be joining us this time, but that's okay. I hope it's no bother. Third wheel, because here's where you can soon appear. Oh! Uh, sure, that's fine. Although, I can't come with you guys today. Oh. Um, uh, my homeroom teacher wanted to talk about some stuff, so you go ahead together. I'll walk home with you tomorrow. Are you sure? Pretty sure we can wait. And you're not in agreement. It's no bother! Sorry, shakes her head. No, there's no, there's no telling how long it'll go for. Plus, I think it might be a long discussion. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, okay then. See you soon. Bye, Sior. It's slightly strange walking home with Yuri. Nothing against her, of course. I've grown used to Sior being there instead. Although Yuri is fairly shy, I know she's become coming out of her shell a little bit, especially when we're Christmas shopping together. Not that I'm complaining or anything, but why would you want to walk home with me today? Well, she looks away in size. It's just not so easy. I don't push it. In my fight with Siori taught me anything, fight with Siori taught me is that you can never tell demons what it's about. Given I still know a little bit about yours, definitely best to caution. This Christmas period has always been fairly oriented, at least for me. For as long as I remember, my parents used a lot of effort making Christmas remember. Well, especially these countries that focus on Christmas and spread of happiness. From what I read, Christmas is more festive to be concerned with legends in Western countries. But I digress. I haven't spent Christmas with my family in a while. And if you don't mind asking me, why is that? You looks like picking up her sleeves. I know she changed the day that when she's upset her. They weren't around this year. There's a pause. I feel no idea they're in the game to worship. The Christmas period was very lonely, but you can imagine. Aww! Going shopping with you, exchanging gifts, playing, all, playing with all the club members. It was truly the highlight of December. Although it was only temporary, when I got home, I looked at the peace lily knots that he gave me. It was such a thoughtful gift, but it was also bittersweet. So that would have been the type of present my parents would have gotten. So it was a lovely to see the plan. It was a matter of my parents weren't the ones that gave it to me. Hey, Yuri, I had no idea you were so lonely. If you told me this earlier, I would have loved spending my time with you. I have a lot. I had a lot of fun with you on our Christmas shopping. You were really good company and gave me useful advice. And, oh, well, you're a or a couple, but the last thing I want to do is intrude on that. I waver consistently. Yuri, Siri, and I both like you. You're a friend. You have seen Siri makes her top priority make sure her friends are happy. It's not a problem at all. I'm sorry to bother you with all my troubles like this. It's just that I couldn't really talk to the other girls. Monica is definitely very busy and not to keep. Well, our friendship has definitely improved since you first saw all us. Or you, but not as strange as you are because of the hangout. I've always been so quite solitary by nature. Well, I enjoy myself, time to myself. Sometimes it would be really nice to spend time with another person. Especially one as open minded as considerate as you are. Not that I don't appreciate the other club members. It's just that, well, I haven't spent a day spent a day with any of them when it was just us two. And while I think it's rather obvious that the social equit it is that it's an excel in. Hey, well, I'm glad you're comfortable around me and be able to tell me about this, Yuri. I know what it's like to be lonely. Last year, before I reconnected with Sorry now, I guess I was pretty much alone, too. I mean, I had class but we never spent time outside of class. A lot of my free time was spent alone, and my parents had divorced, so that made it a lot worse. So, yeah, I hate for someone to go through that, especially someone who's a good friend. I gave her a quick hug. Based on the look of her decision, she, she definitely was not expecting it. Thank you, Colm. It really means a lot. Nothing to thank me for. It's what friends do. Anyway, what are you up to tonight? 
Well, during the semester, just on the weekend, I'm rolling the free sword. I have any homework to complete. I also started a new book. It's very popular, so you may have heard of it as well. The story revolves a group of children that struggle with supernatural homicide by shifting the fortune spirits. Do we do? It takes a form of a grain, you know. Actually, I have there that when the kids go and leave to fight monsters like adults like 20 years later, right? Here's the size of them. I've always been meaning to get that one. Ah, oh, well, I actually have a spare copy if you'd be interested in reading, reading it. Oh! Well, that's a coincidence if I ever see one. <laughs> sure thing, I'll let you know when I'm, how I'm finding it, if you like. That's something you want to do? That would be lovely. Well, this is me. Ah, uh, okay. I guess Yuri wasn't grown by a conversation now that the wistful charts and harder. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for letting me walk home with you. It's nothing, Yuri, and thanks for the book. I'll get started on this tonight. I look forward to hearing your thoughts on the first few chapters now. She turns away and leaves, but I've been literally watching her walk down the street, but I can't wonder if there's anything more I can do for her. In some ways, her situations like Steve's purple are struggling with invincible. Every day, it was totally obvious. Given your resolute nature, it was supposed to be easier to see. I wonder if Monica and Natsuki are struggling with anything as well. Given the last prick, given the last prickly nature, I don't see she'll ever let me. And with Monica, she seems under a lot of pressure from her and her parents or teachers. The club isn't exactly the eptone of happiness, is it? And after her over, Sarah texted me let me know she was on her way. Man, her teacher really kept on for a while. Now we slow down a little bit pens and papers are written. Ready. Uh, I can't decide what this poem should be about. Sorry. I'm not actually that bothered about writing the poem to be honest. I only suggest we can spend more time together. <laughs> really? I'm maneuvering myself so I'm sort of directly behind her, rubbing my arms around her back. She giggles and leans backwards. Uh-huh. But Colton? I know, I know. But the side is myself and pulled a no pen in front of the pen in the hand. After a while, we both finished writing our poems. But Sierra wasn't kidding when she said she doesn't when she does better with creative subjects. Watching her brainstorm or write part of has been a real eye opener. Although not quite not the same extent as Yuri's story gets lost in her own little as she wrote, as I was struck by nature. For instance, she described the boy cliche that happened in the big rap scene. Her lavender even and barely talking about. It's easy to immerse yourself into the one she creates, and the best way seeing this looks in the world, she wrote. My poem was obviously can't can't hold the candles to her. To hers, but it was at least much more enjoyable to write my poem next to her. Sierra, hmm. What did your homeroom teacher want to talk about? Oh, that. Well, I've been handling ho handing homework in on time. I've just been well as possible to find a motivation to work on it sometimes. Haven't you thought about telling them about Willie Depression? I'm sure they'll be a bit more intense if you were going off of the perspective for you being lazy. Maybe that would be a, that would be a lot of hassle. As she talks, I reach over my bag and pull out yours, but leave me. Oh, what's this? It looks scary. Oh, yeah, it's a bug Yuri lent me while we were walking home. Oh, she just got this book to herself. It happened to be a spare copy, and she told me I always wanted to read the book as well. What a coincidence, huh? This slide a few seconds. Did I say something wrong? Siri? Oh, sorry. I was just uh, looking at the front cover. Pretty creepy, huh? Another awkward silence. Colton, why did Yuri want to walk home with you? Uh, why does she look angry all of a sudden? Oh, shit. Oh, that. Uh, I'm not sure if I should tell Sierra about a feeling really lonely and good friendship is comfort well personal. I can't tell you. Why not? Well, it's personal. Okay. Yuri just while going through some difficult times at the moment. And we're friends, so I guess you wanted to talk to me. And you like spending time with her, don't you? I mean, yeah, isn't it normal between friends? Yeah, of course it is. I'm glad you two get along so well. You two went Christmas shopping together, right? Yeah, she's actually really good with suggestions, but she did take ages at the sanitary shop. You think I'll be given like that? I mean, I play between energy and she barely responds. You okay? It seems you seem a little tense. Oh, sorry, I was just thinking about all the homework I need to catch up on. I should probably get going, actually. Oh, really? She stands up and heads to the door. You could always ask Yuri to come over. She'd be better company than I am. Huh? She closed the door and I left her wondering what was that about. Did I say something up to her parents? She had a fight with Yuri. I mean, that makes sense. Oh, she seemed a little angry about Yuri's name. Uh, I'm too tired to think this one over. I'll ask her about it tomorrow. Ta -ta. Okay, so I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys a lot for watching. I'm going to save this real quick before I forget anything. So save. Thank you guys a lot for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit the thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and share. Check out my social medias down below. As always, thank you guys a lot for watching. I'll see you all in a future video. Take it easy. Oh, 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 oh,